everyone, it's Bren with Addicted to Cricut, bringing you another beginner Cricut tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about where and how I clean up images. Sometimes if we are using images maybe that we uploaded from the computer, maybe from Google or one of our own, um, they need to be touched up. There's some marks in it that we need to get out. Or maybe we're wanting to change an image completely, take parts out and add our own text. So I'm going to show you where I do it. I call it my cleanup space, even though I know that's not technically what it's called. Anyway, you'll see. Let's get started. Um, so I'm going to upload an image, just like I always do. I'm going to click right here, upload an image. Let me go get one on my desktop. Let's see. I just, I just saved that booger. Here we go. Okay. Um, this is exactly how we do when we upload an image. I always press complex. I think it's because I have a complex about making a mistake. So I figured this will help me do better, maybe. Okay, so this is my cleanup area. This is where I clean up my images to make them better. There's nothing wrong with this image, but if I want to cut it out in vinyl like I did, I actually cut this out pretty big and put it on the wall in my grandson's room so that when they come and stay they have kind of a pirate themed room. Um, but to cut it out I need the background gone. That's super simple right here. Um, automatically this little wand is um, ready to go. Um, what do they call that? I don't know. It's just, it's all, it, that's what's all, the default, the, the default tool. And what that does is whatever you touch on, it will erase, okay? And so you just, you don't even have to click on it, but you can click on it with your mouse and then come over to your design. Did you see the crosshairs on my design? Just click and all of the background goes away. Now, that's all the background that's connected to each other. If it's background that's not, for instance, in between the ship sails, it still needs to be clicked on and all of the letters, they need to be clicked on the inside. Oops, did you see that? I clicked on the black line and it might took my O away. So just hit undo and it brings it back. So make sure that your crosshairs are right in the middle so that you don't accidentally undo some of your design. So that is something that I use all the time, all the time, all the time, okay? Um, the next tool over here is the eraser and it acts just like a pencil eraser. You can use the slide bar here to make the eraser bigger or smaller. When we're all the way at the small end, you can see how small my eraser is. But if we take it all the way to the big end, it gets much bigger. Okay. And we can do away with the writing. Okay. Um, let's say that, let me see if I can <laughs> undo all that I just did. The other tool that we have is a crop tool. So let's say, for instance, that we wanted to crop this image. Let's say that we only wanted the verbiage or we only wanted um, the skull and crossbones. Or let's just say we only want the word clean. So we hit on crop and it works just like any other cropping done. But we're going to start here, put our mouse down and hold it. And there we go. We have just cropped out the word clean and that's all we have. Of course, we don't really want that. So let's go back to the eraser and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to erase parts of it. Okay. Now, obviously we can see that there are still parts of that image there, but many times you will pull an image up and you can't see that there are pieces back there. So come down here to the final tool called preview, click on it and it's going to actually show you all the spaces that you missed and even some little bitty, let me get off where I can even some little bitty lines here that you may want to clean up because our Cricut's not going to cut those, but our Cricut's going to read those. So let's click out where it says hide preview and let's go back to the eraser again and get rid of the rest of our words. So let's, you know, you might want to put something else in here. You might want to put the text to say the treasure is here or something like that. But let's make the eraser tool just a little bit smaller. Now I know that these lines were really kind of rough, that they had some wiggle lines on it. So I'm going to zoom in pretty far, come down, and I'm going to take my 
erase your tool, make it a little bit smaller, and I'm just going to clean up those a little bit. Now I can come back down to preview and I can look at again. Now see I've got a couple more, so hide preview. Unfortunately it will not let us do this on the preview setting, which would be nice. Okay, now look. Much better. Let me do the top part now. There's one right here and then there's a couple here. Now, maybe this image isn't so bad that we would have to really worry about this, but some images are impossible to cut unless you come in and clean it up. Okay, you can see the big difference there, right? Um, and it's going to make a big difference in how um, Cricut cuts it, too. Like, I would probably come in and get all these sharp edges out of the boat, too. Um, because, let me show you, let's hit continue and we're going to save it as a cut image, and you can already see that those little ticks, those little marks are there. Let's save that, and let's go ahead and put it on the canvas and see if we can see those marks there too. We can. Can you see them all? The Cricut is not going to cut those very nicely. You are not going to have a nice even cut. So I would I would spend the time doing that. Either that or come in um, on the canvas like this and use your shapes and do a, uh, a slice. And so slice out like a straight line on each one of those, but it, it still is going to be a long time. I don't remember what I did, but I know that when I used this image, I did clean it up quite a bit. Okay guys, that's it. That's how I clean my images up. Super simple. And if you need the written instructions, they're in the blog. Have a great day and keep on crafting.